I'd like to review integrations with several of our parts suppliers just to walk you through um, the simplicity and how we really streamline your processes. So here I'm going to enter a vehicle that's come to me before. I'm going to just enter the license plate number. So I'm going to select here that I'm able to put the plate number. As I type in the plate, it's going to bring up my customer, the vehicle, and let me know that there's already pending estimates so I could review them. In this example, I'm not going to. I'm going to actually start a new quote. The customer had asked me about uh, brake service. So I'm just going to select the labor component if I'm doing a standard uh, replace front brakes, as an example, and save it. And then you could have additional functions to not forget the other items. But I want to just show you and go through our integration with CarQuest. Here I'm able to dial in. We push the VIN automatically from GemCar. You're able to go ahead and decode the VIN, so you don't need to write it down or click your make model. You're able to select multiple sides, individual components, or here I could go front brakes, pads and rotors in this example. Vehicle is four-wheel drive. Select the items that um, I'm looking for and the quality. I can see the availability of what they offer in their warehouses as well. So here I can see the stores, the network, and in their DCs. So as I add these pads and then go down a little bit further, and I can put, let's see, rotors. They have a ton of choices. I can say, yep, we want two of these. And add those to the car at the top and bottom of both of them. They also have labor times that are available in, the, in our integration. So from their website, you can pull over labor times if you care to. Um, as you can see, they're here. If I add these items to the cart and I want to capture labor times, I can just click on the pen and paper. It's going to give me the ability to carry back what it is that I'm interested for labor lines. I could say, yes, I would like this. We also have a labor matrix that you could have indexed for multiple labor times based on what the times are that they recommend from their labor guide. Here I have the time, as you can see. I've checked the box. If I wanted to edit any of the content, I could say, this vehicle, I'm not going to bleed the brakes, as an example, or I'm not going to road test. I could modify any of the language that's there and then go ahead and transfer it back to the gem car. For the parts that I have, I want to view the cart. And the reason that you view the cart is a good idea. You could have just clicked on it. Is This is a perfect example. I've got all these other parts that somebody else has been quoting and looking up. So when I click on transfer, it would transfer all of them. Or I could click on the pen and paper, and it's going to give me the ability to select what would I like to bring back. So if I unselect them, I could just say I want the pads and rotors that will be at the bottom. Let's say that I want these pads and these rotors. And I can apply a parts matrix as well. So here I can actually see my cost, their list price, and then what my parts matrix is. When I click on Apply Matrix, it's going to do that, update the pricing so that I have pricing integrity. And then when I go back to the estimate that I started, I'm just going to minimize the browser. You now see we have the labor component, the parts, pads and rotors, all in a quote with the correct margins and matrix available for that supplier.